Mary here for our Divine Feminine Weekly Reading Forecast for week August 23rd to August 30th. And if you're watching this afterwards, it doesn't matter because the reading and the message is still intended for you regardless. I encourage you to grab a pen and paper, take notes because whatever jumps out at you is what the message is trying to tell you. And please note, from all of my Instagram followers that are watching this, uh, there is an imposter going around pretending to be me. They develop an account like mine that's going to, for a lot, a lot of people are going through this. And they are going to my followers pretending to be me and asking for money, saying that they will give them a reading through DM. Remember, I never DM any of my followers. I never do that. That's not my style. You know that. If you want a reading, you go directly to my website and book Mary Rose Intuitive dot com and you can book schedule your reading right there on the spot and um, yeah so I just wanted to say that okay so the cards that I'm working with I'm three individual decks okay the first deck is the nightmare before Christmas the shaman's dream oracle and guardian angel oracle love these cards okay so I have asked the question and what do we all need to know and I've laid them out, so I will just go right with the reading. Okay, so the first card we got was Judgment. Okay, now Judgment represents a renewal of some kind. Something that has been put to rest, something's being revived, something that's being refreshed, something that's alive. So this is actually saying that we have been at a, at a point where we've been feeling kind of like stagnate and sleeping for some reason. When I say sleeping, I'm not talking about actual sleep. I'm talking about maybe some of us would like to do some sleep, um, need more rest, yeah. Oh, I'll take that rest is really good but this is what, what I'm talking about is more like we've been in the shadows for a little while we've been kind of like stagnate the energy has been very stagnate for the last little while and we've been away it's it feels like we've been away for a while and that is the energy and it's also with relationships with divine feminine you might be feeling that you know you you are just missing something something is missing out of your life you feel apart from something but yet this is actually a sign this is actually a really good card telling us that there is going to to be a brand new beginning like I always see the judgment as something that's been put to rest there is an awakening something that's going to be revived something that's going to be alive again but we have to make it work remember something we need to do this we need to do the work you need to put the energy in there and put the work into it by using whatever you need to do uh, going in there rolling up your sleeves and doing the work you know maybe if maybe you've been feeling maybe a little bit of procrastinating whatever that may be it's time for you to rethink what you need to do reevaluate and look at the picture look at the bigger picture of what needs to be done and stop listening to the media stop watching the news you know a lot of people will argue that point they say well I need to know what's going on yes I agree but don't be hypnotized by it don't allow it to manipulate sometimes the, the news is a lot of drama okay I understand I hear a lot of your your concerns about that we need some of the news there's there is some sources that are, are that are very um, that are informative but just stay away from the fake news I, sh I should say the ones that will actually it's like the inquiry it's like you know like reading the tabloids kind of thing the energy of it you know what I'm talking about and I'm just advising you to listen to your own intuition to the best source as possible yourself I and mean, when I say that, I mean going inward, finding that inner light inside and finding the message inside of here, because that's what we fail to do. We're always looking for somebody else to tell us or somebody else to, yeah, we need guidance. Don't get me wrong. That's what I'm doing here. But sometimes we, we, we pretty much depend on somebody else to do it for us. And um, it's time for you to take a stand and listen to your own advice listen to your own self you know what you need to do and if you're feeling resistance towards it write it down because being accountable when you write something down you're accountable always keep a journal keep a uh, I always like to keep not a to-do list but more of what I need to put in so I can focus on like a focus um, a focus point maybe I won't get the to-do list done right away all one day but at least I have it there for the week okay so this makes a lot of sense okay um, then the second card is uh, empty well time to replenish okay and you know what that means time to give up what no longer serves you empty the well there's something that is calling you something that's telling you time to move on time to let things go time to let things be time to say goodbye to something that's been holding us back now you hear me say that a lot in, in a lot of readings now a lot of times we're holding on to a person 
we're holding on to an expectation sometimes we're we're expecting something to work for us in a certain way that we think it's going to work and it's actually something that's lost its luster and it needs to move on you need to move on you need to walk away you need to empty the well and you have to replenish yourselves you, you know like it's something that you've been feeling resistance okay i'm just going to give you an example like maybe it's time to get a new pair of glasses maybe it's time to get a new prescription um you know i'm just giving you an example because that comes to mind you know maybe there's somebody that's there that needs uh need, needs new glasses i don't know but you know what i mean it's like something that's day to day it's like something that you need to let go of you need to let go of the resentment maybe you need to let go of the pain maybe it's time for you to let go of somebody else being the team leader and you need to speak up <laughs> you know and you have to say this is what i feel okay sometimes that's the that's the case here whatever is jumping out at you that is what you need to do and even a relationship if you're finding that you're the one that's only always initiating the get together you're the one that's always initiating to just time to, to to what to do it's time for you to say something and to say are you ever going to initiate and in a graceful and a peaceful way always remember that you know slower wins the race you know when you go too fast and when you try to rush things you know that doesn't work it's time to change um, it's time maybe to eat slow I don't know why I said that slow eats slow slow eats the race no I said <laughs> where is that coming from okay whatever I'm not cutting that out because whatever you know what it is what it is and you know what you need to do you need to take it slow and you need to let go you need to let go of the old thinking patterns that's basically what that means let go of the old thinking patterns and rechange your thinking to something else and that makes sense with judgment because it's time to move forward it's time to start something new start something new in your life okay and even in a relationship maybe you have been doing the same old things and you've been you know now it's time to have some fun it's really time for you to do something different you know there is a time that's this this time is precious time is precious every moment counts yes i'm filming this during the pandemic and i know there's like talk of the fourth wave and talk of you know maybe another shutdown there will never be um another shutdown the way it was the first time okay and there will never be the way it was because we're all aware you know and there's also lots of controversy about this about this about that i'm not going to say anything because there's a lot of censorship that goes on with um, social media and I don't want to be a part of that I'm a neutral party okay and I'm just here to give you a message it's time to let go of the old thinking pattern it's time to think about think out of the box and think about what's good for you okay and I know a lot of people are are contemplating should I get it should I get the thing sure or shouldn't I or should I just let it go or should I just you know wear my mask and just be safe that way and you know like you're wondering and I've had a lot of customers a lot of clients ask me about that um, is it safe to get it and I would say you know what I'm talking about um, and I would say you know what it's it's how you feel and you know what you should never feel like you're being pushed but you have to remember something everything is for a purpose I always say we are living in a human body and you know what we're not invincible because a lot of times a lot of things that happen to us is physical we live in a physical world but we are spirit living in a human body okay so with saying that we have to like kind of have to follow the rules a little bit but we have to open change your perspective okay that's my that's my message to you change your perspective okay sometimes you have to get a little sacrifice to get to the second phase of in our life what we need to do okay and you know sometimes we need to do that you know and I have to say I've put a lot of other stuff in my system in the past that you know maybe it's not the healthiest thing like you know like I've eaten McDonald's <laughs> that's a lot of chemicals uh, I have drank diet coke you know there's a lot of chemicals in there and you know like I have to say there's been a lot a lot of worse things that I've done to myself that in the past with like that that's actually you know worse than getting you know that thing so I'm just I'm just giving you my two cents in there but I'm not I'm not saying that I'm not suggesting you do or don't I'm just saying just change your perspective think out of the box we are human living in a human we are spirit sorry we are spirit and a soul living in a human body and we got to take care of it you know what you know you got to take care of yourself you know um, I got eye surgery years ago and I have to say I I did not refuse the anesthetic. I did not refuse the eye surgery. I had a, ret a retinal attachment and I got it, I got it repaired. I'm fine, I can see perfect. 
uh, well, not perfect. I need glasses. I always needed glasses, but I'm just saying it's it's just happens. It's just something that happened, and you know, like it's conventional medicine. That's my point. That's my message there to you guys. Okay, sometimes we got to do what we got to do to see. Uh, you know, we got. I need a prescription, so it's like I need a prescription to see. I can see without it, but it actually feels better for my eyes when I when I see with glasses or contacts. Okay, and the third card is blessings. Okay, I'm gonna read it to you because it's um, saying light, love, blessings. Through this card, you are being showered with angelic light. Accept the blessings about to come your way and know that you deserve to be and have all your heart's desires. Isn't that beautiful? You are being lovingly guided through a golden path, a magical journey through which you shall discover your true essence, the infinite and eternal you. Congratulations. So remember something. You can step into your own universe. You know, it's a quantum jump. Science has proven it we jump from different universes okay so you have to remember that you can go from one universe to another universe change your perspective watch how that change self-love self-care do what you gotta do don't believe a lot of the horror stories you hear about there you know like this we are we there's a new life that's about to begin there's a new look there's a new world you know it's what i see out there is i see a lot of stress and i see a lot of people going through a lot of um I don't know. I don't know what to call it. It's just hell, really. Just a lot of hell. And it's just, I see it and I, that's what I'm here for. I put people, I help people to be calm. And you know what? I encourage you to help your fellow neighbor, give a smile, talk with people, you know, try to do what you can to do your part. Because when you help someone, you spiral upward, you change your energy. And sometimes you're not feeling it. Well, call upon a friend for help. If you're feeling depressed, if you're feeling down, you know, you got to do what you got to do to bring yourself at a higher level. It's it's very important because we are all, how could I say, contagious. We feed on each other's energy. Love is contagious, just like negativity is contagious. So my advice to you is to spiral upward and watch how things will start to shift. Things will start to change. Life will get better. We have the ability to do that. So remember, you are everything you have. You are in your own bubble. Remember that. And you know, send love to yourself. Love yourself. That's that's the key here. That's the message. Because when you love yourself, you spread it out and other people can feel it. Yeah. Okay. So I hope that this was helpful and this shed some light for you. And um, yeah, I wish you all peace, blessings, love and light to the next video. <laughs>